Welcome to Empower to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan Al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Empowered to Grow. This is your host, Hanan al I am blessed today to have cross paths. The universe has made us cross paths one way or another with uh, a beautiful lady that brings just a lot of peaceful energy just as soon as we got introduced. Uh, Petya Kolipova Burns is an abundance activation coach, which is a very intriguing concept to start with. Um, and she works with women to find their inner abundance and their power. So very excited. Welcome, Petya. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for this beautiful introduction. (laughs) Thank you. I always start with the question of empowered to grow. What does this phrase mean to you and how does it resonate with you? It resonates very deeply, you know, and I love that question because I feel like literally there is this saying here, like if you're not growing, you are dying. And we can grow by force or we can grow empowered because it's by choice, right? So I really feel like looking for that empowerment to grow and to expand and to impact others. Mm -hmm. It's how I see that, you know, empowered to grow, grow into a better version of ourselves and inspiring others to do the same. So we finally remember who we came here to be. (laughs) I love that. I love that. And, And from that perspective, you are empowered to grow and you also empower others. And of course, the very intriguing title of Abundance Activation Coach. So very curious to know your story, please. Absolutely. And you know, it's it's very interesting because I feel like sometimes in life things find us. We like don't look for them. I never planned to be a coach. I never planned to be entrepreneur. And I feel like it really founded me and, and, you know, brought me onto the path because Um, the way I grew up was definitely not in abundance. And I'm not saying I, I, you know, grew up in like poverty, like not that, but yes, in a lot of scarcity, scarcity of time, scarcity of love. Um, I grew up in a very small town in Czech Republic, hence my unpronounceable name and accent. Um, (laughs) And uh, it's, it was always like every single day seeing the scarcity of people. Everyone compared themselves to the another, to the neighbor, you know, and there was a lot of like comparing and a lot of um, competition. And yeah. that always made you feel like no matter what you do, it's never enough. Yeah. And it really took me a decade to realize that in a first place, you get to really become unapologetically you. That it Mm. all starts with you. It all starts by coming back to yourself, back to your core, back to your heart, back to your soul. And then you can create the abundance. Mm. And I realized throughout my journey, as I was doing the inner work, the people around me like got activated with the codes that I have learned and grown, but embodied too. One thing is when people tell you what to do. And the other thing is when they embody it. So learning how to embody the highest version of you, then you can activate it in others. So that's when I chose the title, the abundance and light activator, because I started to see that in my friends and family and my clients. And, you know, I hosted the retreats and life events. So seeing women coming to life and really being activated in their possibilities and abundance, it starts with the inner abundance, like you said, yeah. But when you activate yeah. that inner abundance, it must show in external too. So sure. it's it's really very life-giving to be witness to this. I love that. And and as I, I think I, I just very briefly mentioned that just before we start, and it's the alignment that, you know, we're in alignment to that because as well, it took me decades to realize I'm abundant because I was conditioned to focus on the scarcity in my life. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, when, when you switch your lens to that perspective, your worldview lens and your perspective on, on the abundance, you realize you're abundant in so many ways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, like 
we don't very often realize that that abundance truly it's everywhere and we're usually focusing on the gap we are focusing yeah. on what is missing instead of celebrating what we have gained because most people they look where they are they look where they want to be and they focus on what is missing instead yeah. of yeah. look where you are and look where you came from and celebrate that because that makes you more confident, that makes you more magnetic. And when we are magnetic, that's when we receive the opportunities from people and places and we awaken to brand the new worlds because you're not walking with the head down and saying like, life is hard, this is hard, I cannot do this. You awaken into the possibilities and the abundance and you start to notice it everywhere, celebrate it everywhere and it must come even more. I love that. So from the from that perspective and from where you stand today, what would you go back and advise your 19-year-old self? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so amazing because you know, on 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 one hand, um, of course, there is advice, and on other hand, I know I wouldn't want to change anything because then I wouldn't yeah. be who I am today, and I, I wouldn't be this loving, compassionate, and and patient. So I know what I would tell her. I would tell her, leave the guy, stop harming yourself. Because when I was 19, when I was 18, I attempted to suicide. Oh. When I was 19, I was in very toxic relationship and I was struggling very deeply with eating disorder that lasted almost until I was 30. So since I was 11, I struggled with eating disorder. So if I could tell my 19 year old something, I would tell her you're enough. Don't outsource your happiness, your worthiness and learn to love yourself and your body right where you are. Because the funny thing, huh, it's we are never happy as women. I'm sorry. I don't know like if you are, but it's like we're going through so many transitions. And sometimes I look at the pictures back when I was thinking yeah. that like, oh, I should be leaner. I should be stronger. I should lose some weight. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what would I do to have that body now, yes. right? And so I want that I'm back. Like, okay, Pythia, let's celebrate what is. Let's celebrate yeah. the strength. Let's celebrate the health. Let's celebrate that we can see, smell, taste. We can walk. How yeah. many people can't walk? Yeah, how many people can't see? How many people cannot take care of themselves? It's just so astounding to me how, again, we are focusing on the lack. We are focusing on what is missing versus celebrating. So sometimes I feel like we are afraid to celebrate what is because we're afraid we'll get stuck there, right? Yeah. But yeah. you cannot change your current reality by complaining and by seeing it as the worst ever and by being so judgmental and hard on yourself as woman, we have the special gift of being our own worst critics, right? Yep. That mean yep. girl. Um, and so I feel like we get to realize that loving what is doesn't mean that this will never change. It means that we will feel empowered to grow and empowered to change, but that's from true. place that's of true. love instead of place of judgment and fear. I love that. Okay. Now the other end of the spectrum, since you can't change the past, as you said, and I, I, I love that because also I'm in total agreement of that, of Yes, I wish I would have changed it. But if I change anything in the past, I'm not going to be who I am today. Let's look at the future you, your 90 year old self. What would you like her to thank you for today? If she was to send you a message through a time capsule. Mm, she <laughs> would say thank you for having fun. Thank you for allowing yourself to explore whatever you want to explore. Thank you for being an amazing mom and grandma and great grandma and thank you for creating a legacy for your kids and thank you for creating a business that it's inspiring and saving and changing lives I absolutely love that Petia you're on a stage and you are delivering your speech to thousands of women and it is about being empowered to grow what is that last message you leave them with mm. i would remind them you're perfectly made for your purpose mm. so very often we are choosing to grow because we are afraid that who we are it's not enough yet when you remember that 
exactly the way you were created. You were created so you can fulfill your purpose. The way yes. you see the world, the way you experience the world, the way you look, the way you speak, even your accents, like every single little thing about you was created purposefully so you can fulfill your purpose. So instead of forcing yourself to grow to fit the mold of society or whoever is around you, yeah, really be inspired and empowered to grow so you can shine even brighter. Wow. Yep. I love that because it is so true and it is so simple as a truth. And yet we don't identify with it at all. As you said, I think we're always trying to change ourselves. There's a difference between aspiration and fulfillment. So yes, you should be proud of where you are today and who you've become, but that doesn't stop you from having the aspirations to fulfill your purpose. Mm -hmm. And that requires change. <laughs> Absolutely. Whether we like it or not, again, like if you're not growing, you're dying, nothing in the nature, it's stagnant ever, ever. Like look around you, like the animals, the plants, the, you know, the weather, everything that is happening in the nature, it's never stagnant, never. Yeah. Yeah. So why we're attempting, you know? Yeah. Why are we trying to live the same groundhog day, the same day, every day, just hoping things don't change? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, this has been super insightful and um, super condensed. And I think there's so many messages in everything you said that just, I'm sure are going to resonate so much with everyone that's listening to us, men and women. And um, from that perspective, where could our readers and our viewers, not readers, our listeners and our viewers connect with you in virtual space? Where can they Maybe find Maybe they you? will... Maybe they will read the show notes, you know, so Maybe. it will be yep, better. That's too. There we go. <laughs> that too. <laughs> I feel like my favorite place really it's Instagram and it's just my name, Petya Kolebova, petyakolebova.com. It's my website and uh, my podcast, Unapologetically Abundant, where we share tips and tools how to create generational healing and world-changing abundance. I love that. Yes, I'm, I'm going to definitely going to subscribe to your podcast as well. Petia, thank you so much. Um, we will be sharing your links as well in our show notes. So yeah, that's where our readers are going to find you. <laughs> and um, I can't wait to continue the conversation with you in our uncharted discussion. But thank you for sharing your wisdom and thank you for sharing your energy. Thank you. Well, as you heard it from Petia, it's, it's about being unapologetically you. And it's about the abundance within you and focusing on how much you have, how much you've accomplished, how much you have done to become that amazing version you are today and aspiring to be the ama more amazing version of you of tomorrow. Thank you. And as always, I wish you love, abundance and prosperity. We're going to see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananelbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.